Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here at the Snap Conference 2017 in the Sponsor Lounge with Jamie from Floracraft. <laughs> how are you, Jamie? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. What are we doing here today? We are playing with some of our um, our floral foams this year. You know us more for like our styrofoam, cones, balls, all different shapes in white and green styrofoam. Right. Um, but this is the first time that we brought our floral foams to the Snap Conference. Okay. So we are going to build a fresh flower arrangement. Okay, let's do it. I've never built a flower arrangement before. <laughs> this is our mug plug shape and with um, wet foam you just want to drop it in the water and let it soak and this is just regular tap water with a little bit of flour food just kind of mixed in that will soak up through the foam okay so it just takes a couple of seconds let that soak up so since we're using real flowers like is this going to help water it? yep it'll okay. um, give the flowers a complete water source for how long um the last about a week we can have nice I like that okay so you can tell that it's done because it's um, completely dark green okay feel how that is Dude, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So like I said, this is our mug plug, um, but it also comes in this brick shape that you can just cut easily down to any container. Okay, cool. Size. So oh, now cool. we've added in this floor craft mug. Yes. So now I'm going to show you how to build just a really basic arrangement. And there's um, three different types of stems. So this is um, a focal stem, and then you have some filler stems. And then this is just some greenery that'll kind of help build the base. Cool. So what, which one would you start with? We're going to start with the greenery because that'll kind of help build yeah. um, what that shape is going to look like. And a tip that um, we like to give is that you want to cut all of your stems on an angle. So what does the angle do? The angle allows it to go into the foam a little bit easier and also soak up more water. So I'm just going to start inserting these in the back. You can see how easily those insert. Awesome. Just kind of... Just poke it in? Yep, just poke it in. There's really no rhyme or reason. So you can see how that's starting yeah. to get that kind of organic shape. And what's cool is you could probably use like dollar store vases, you know, really oh, anything. Oh, absolutely. Mugs is Mug. great. <laughs> yeah. A great um, gift idea for Mother's Day coming oh, up. Oh, we all need a Mother's Day idea, at least I do. So you can kind of see how that's starting to fill around the back. Okay. And then I'm actually going to um, skip over the filler flowers and go right to the focal flowers next. Interesting. And so kind of hard to show me, but I'm going to kind of measure it out just based on my vase type and then again cut on an angle. Love it. And if you want also you can cut them underwater that sometimes... What does that do? It just um, kind of gives it a little bit of more freshness when you at that cut source. Okay. So, and then I'm going to put these kind of towards the front and close down to the base. Cool. Or in this case, my neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> And then another tip, um, you'll see that these have a couple of leaves on them. I just pull those leaves right off. Who needs that? And stick those in. So I'm trying to get them at a little bit varying heights. You can see uh -huh. it a little bit. And then I'm going to just fill in the rest with some of this filler flower. Love it. And this is just a basic wax flower. All of the flowers that you see here are, um, they come in like grocery store bundles. Okay. They're very readily available. So you can pick them up when you go to the grocery store yep. on your average grocery run. I exactly. love it. I'm just going to cut this part. And is it cheaper to design your own floral arrangements? Like, is it more economical that way? Absolutely. I Absolutely. Love that. The foam's pretty inexpensive. Um, flowers you can get just about anywhere now yeah. Trader Joe's, Costco. Right. Um, so, like, if you're wanting to the have these for store. your birthday party, like exactly. a sweet 16, exactly. you know, graduation parties are coming up. Exactly. And the foam actually helps keep them alive just a little bit longer. Uh -huh. That's one of the um, misconceptions about, you know, doing your own floral and having flowers in your house, real uh -huh. flowers, is that they. They don't last very long, but with right. the foam, they have a complete water source all the time, and then the water doesn't get, you know, real dirty and kind of yeah. wicky like it does in a glass arrangement. I love it. So let's see how that's starting to look. Are you liking it? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of that cool organic shape. Oh, for sure. So. So what else do you think it needs? A little bit more like accent. Just a little bit of height here in the back. But you can just keep playing around with it until you like it. The only thing is, if you don't like the placement of a flower and you have to pull it out and re-put it in, make sure you put it into a new hole so that it has that water source. Right. Okay, so where can they learn more about all this? Um, you can learn more about this on our website at floracraft.com. I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out what we're doing at the <laughs> other sponsor booths. Jamie, thank you for sure. having us again, and we'll see you back here real soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.